Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel, Pivot Point Patterns. My name is Melissa, and I love to rescue old clothes by turning them into something new. In today's video, I'm going to take this thrift store skirt and shirt and turn it into a cottage core top. We'll flip the t-shirt upside down and use the finished hem as the new neckline, and we'll make a pair of puffy sleeves from the skirt. So let's get sewing. I turned the t-shirt upside down and used an existing shirt as my pattern. The blue t-shirt has a lot of stretch, so I added a quarter inch seam allowance. If your shirt doesn't have a lot of stretch, I recommend adding more seam allowance. I placed the hem of the blue t-shirt halfway down the armhole of my pattern piece. We'll stitch both sides of the side seams and cut out the armholes. With right sides together, pin and sew the sides of the t-shirt. I'm using my serger, but you can use a sewing machine with a zigzag stitch. I threw the shirt on my dress form to mark the neckline. Then I marked the bottom of the armhole. I'll trace out a new armhole connecting the neckline to the bottom of the armhole. I also measured out the elastic for the shoulders. I used the leftover piece of one armhole to cut out the other armhole. The next step is to add half-inch elastic to the neckline. The elastic will prevent the neckline from stretching out and retain its shape. Tack down the elastic and cut off the excess. I drafted a pattern piece for the sleeve that was almost 27 inches wide to create full gathers on the sleeves, making sure the armhole length matched the armhole on the t-shirt. I placed the pattern piece on the fold of the fabric and cut out the sleeve. With right sides together, I serged the sleeves. To create the casing on the bottom of the sleeve to hold the elastic, I turned the edge a quarter inch and pressed it. This will create a clean finish for the casing. Then I folded the edge a quarter inch larger than the elastic. By the way, I'm reusing the elastic from the original skirt to gather the sleeves. Press around the entire sleeve. I like to pin the casing in place to prevent fabric shifting while I sew. We'll stitch around the casing, leaving a one inch gap to thread the elastic. I cut a 10 inch piece of elastic to fit my arm. You'll want to cut your elastic based on your arm measurement. I attached safety pins to both ends of the elastic. I'll use one safety pin to use as a needle to thread the elastic through the casing. I'll use the other one to pin the end of the elastic to the sleeve so I don't accidentally pull it through the casing. Pull out both ends of the elastic about two inches. Tack the ends of the elastic closed. Thank you. 
push the elastic back into the casing and sew the casing closed. For the top of the sleeve, we'll repeat the process. Press and sew the casing. Thread elastic through the casing and then tack the ends. Now it's time to attach the sleeve. With right sides together, pin the sleeve to the bodice and sew. We're almost done. One sleeve down, one more to go. The top is really coming together. Let's fast forward to the finished top. For more thrift flips and sewing inspirations, like and subscribe. See you next time!